Okay, so here we are talking about the phase four of fertilization. And this phase four of fertilization is termed formation of male pronucleus. All right, formation of male pronucleus. So the focus for today is to discuss phase four of fertilization in human beings, which is actually nicknamed the formation of male pronucleus. Right? So this is the male pronucleus, and it's basically like uh, the nucleus of the sperm. All right? But how is it formed? Okay? It's good to be logic. All right? So the phase four of uh, uh, fertilization is actually nicknamed formation of male pronucleus. Um, the spermatozoon moves forward to lie close to the male to the female pronucleus okay so now the head that's a nucleus will become swollen and it forms the pronucleus all right so now just because it comes to lie close to the female pronucleus the head will become swollen okay and other parts of the sperm will kind of like be degenerating but the head will now be increasing in size right so now it is not the normal nucleus, but it is a bigger nucleus. Hence, that's why they call it pro nucleus. Okay. I know you've buy, bought some um, phones in the market. The original version of the phone comes out as a normal name. Then later another type comes out as a pro. Okay. So pro means that it's this same thing, but it is bigger. Okay. It is like modernized. Okay. It's enhanced. All right. So guys, that's how. <clears throat> male pronucleus is formed okay because the spermatosome comes to lie close to the female pronucleus all right and hence it forms the male pronucleus okay now this uh pronucleus later on fills, but that's what we'll be talking about in the phase five of fertilization all right you guys that's it about the phase four see you guys in the next one